absolute blast at the April Denver Retro Gamers swap meet. So I just couldn't pass up going to the next one. But this time it was going to be hosted at another member's house, Broderick. And he has a huge driveway where there's plenty of space to set up tables and get some good swapping done. And it being July, we were also going to do a cookout. You know, we're going to have burgers, hot dogs, brats, all that good stuff. So, Jay Dubious and I had to go and hit it up. Dubious is trying to downsize his collection, so he had plenty of stuff to sell. Uh, he had a table, he got a canopy and everything uh, to keep us out of the hot sun. And since we were going to be cooking burgers and all that good stuff, we needed cheese, and I volunteered to get cheese. So Dubious and I are about to hit up the uh, Denver Retro Gamer Swap Meet for July. And we're having a barbecue. And I said I would get the cheese for the burgers, so we have to stop off at the local grocery store. Oh, so many selections of cheese. So Jay Dubious and I were the very first ones to get there. We got there a bit early because we wanted a good spot. We wanted to get set up before everyone started showing up and browsing. And Roderick already had all his stuff out. And my God, look at all this stuff, man. I, <laughs> You know, this guy might be a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> but no, I know this is a, a big passion of his uh, selling, trading, and, you know, just hooking people up. So I actually did get some stuff from him. We'll get to that later. But yeah, just check out all of this stuff that he had for sale. Slow disc eject <laughs> tray, but it works. Yeah, it's better than mine. That doesn't work at all. Now, Dubious didn't have as much stuff, but he had a lot of quality games, a lot of hard to find stuff that he was getting rid of. So th those were definitely going to be some items on people's eye during this swap, without question. How much are you selling that for? Um... It's listed at 190, I'll probably do like 180 or 175 for it. Bargain bin hobo showing up. What's up man? Not much. You made it on time, dude. Like, it's people are still setting up, so. So the Bargain Bin Hobo is a guy that's been following me for a little bit, and he also has a YouTube channel, and he also happens to live in Colorado, though he's a lot further from Broderick's house than I am. I'd say about an hour away or so, but I invited him to come along. I was like, dude, I mean, you gotta check this out. These swaps are pretty awesome. So he made the trek here, and I got to meet him for the very first time. This is what we got set up so far. Okay. We got food cooking. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we got barbecue. Have a good time. Um, so, I mean, what kind of stuff are you looking for? Uh, I'm just really browsing, man. Yeah, Let's see what's all in here. But yeah, if they've I mean, got any bad games, you know, you know me. Yeah, well, no, I'm sure there's some bad games yeah. people want to get rid of. You don't have Turrock, do you? No. Man. Uh, like, everyone has the second one, but, like, the first one is the one I'm looking for. For that arcade machine in there, track one. Fastest time gets you up in the rankings. Now these swap meets aren't all about just selling and buying. There are also contests here. And Broderick had an arcade in his house set to free play where people could race and whoever were to get the best five times would win some prizes at the end of the day. It's cute. Oh, that card is awesome. It's old, huh? Yeah. Dirty Gerd. Dirty Gerd. Dirty Gerd. My mom had one and she ended up having heart problems and uh, had to put her down. Yeah, she can't stay in an apartment, and then... Oh, you're so cute! So we had to take her from my mom. Oh, you're so cute! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, buddy! So cute! Oh, shit! They... I looked through... Thanks, dude. <laughs> Turok, I'm keeping an eye... Dude, I looked through those games. Well, maybe I didn't look well enough. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for Jerry Silius now. No. After watching that video. Dude! I like mastered that game, yeah, you dude. Like really into oh, dude, it was so good, man. I could not stop playing it, dude. It was such a good game, man. It's like one of the best retro games I've gotten in years, man. And apparently there's another guy that does YouTube, too. What's your channel? Might as well plug it now, dude. 
Farang 427, H W A R A N G 427. That's the name of your channel? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'd recommend it's a personal cha channel. Recommend yeah, it's ch yeah. changing the name <laughs> oh, if you want people to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly for fun. Just I mean, to get yeah. if it makes you feel any better, my original YouTube name was GameCube Rocks. GameCube R O X. Before I changed it to Bargain Bin Hobo. Which probably rolls off the top a little better. What'd you get now? Yeah, well, I've got SpongeBob and Mario 3D World. Oh, nice. Yeah, this looks like. I ain't played this one. Uh, Mario and SpongeBob. I can do that. I don't have change right now. Okay, um, I'll just I'll find you later. Okay. Hobo. Give me your 20. Okay. I found a game from him. I'm going to bundle it all together. Okay. So these are the same two games he inquired about earlier. I was wondering if we could add this one and do it all for 20. Yep, we'll do that. Awesome, dude. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, yeah. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to get it on the way. My mom was speaking. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think you need some water, though, don't you? You need some water. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it yet. Man, you sold it, man. I know someone else is uh, looking at that too, right? I mean, everyone was looking at it. Of course. Cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks a lot. Pirates, the off on me. Look what I got for fives. Oh, no, yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, it was originally eight, but thanks to you, I was able to haggle it down to five. Yeah, you gotta haggle, dude. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. These swap meets are all about haggling. You gotta haggle. Ooh. How old is she? 11, I think. Wow, it's so great gray here. Yeah, yeah, see, my mom's dog was 11, but she didn't have that much gray. I love dachshunds. My mom had a dachshund. We had a dachshund when I was growing up. I love them. All right, so dude was selling uh, four mystery movies for a buck. Just I to got get rid of them. Yeah, he, he, he gave me a free one. So let's, yeah, see. let's see what I got. Ooh, Freddy versus Jason. Ooh, nice. Dude, the two 300 movies? Nice. Sherlock Holmes, eh? Mm, that's a good one, I'd say. <laughs> that's a good movie, though. All right, let's see what I've I got. I've never heard of it, yeah. but hey, man, I, I, got the, I got the two 300 movies. Yeah. So I had mentioned the contest with the arcade in Broderick's house. The problem was is that everyone sucked ass at the game and people had a hard time making the top five. I wasn't someone could beat my score, my high score. I didn't even make the board, man, when I played it. So we had to come up with a different idea for giving away these prizes and it turned out that we were just gonna do a simple trivia. What video game did Princess Daisy make her first appearance? Super Mario Land. Super Mario Land is correct. You are mine. <laughs> nice. All right. In Double Dragon on the NES, there was a typo for their names. What were the two names that were mistakenly put in the game? Wait, wait, wait. Who called it? Bimmy and Jimmy. Bimmy and Jimmy. Very good. No, 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 no. That was Double Dragon 3. Was that three? Not Double Dragon uh, 1. It works, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was one. Was it not one? No. It's I'm going to look it up. One is not two-player co-op. being a pedantic asshole, I know. <laughs> I wasn't trying to take anything away from Dubious's win, trust me. What is the name of the sequel of Super Mario World? Is that Wes? Yeah, yeah. Yoshi's Island. Very good. You get a pick. Uh, the what, these three? Yep. Um... 
go with the Kirby. So yeah, I want a little squishy Kirby that I figured my almost two-year-old niece would love. And she did love it. She loved ripping the feet right off the thing. If you beat Metroid with a certain amount of time, Samus does something cool. What does she do? Wait, you, you already went. The, you know this one, right? Why didn't you right? Right? Yeah, she removes her helmet. Takes off her helmet. Very good. If you want to play the second quest in the original Legend of Zelda, what name do you enter to unlock it? Zelda. Zelda. Very good. <laughs> Which seems like a really bad name to put weird. in there, right? Uh, yeah. That's sneaky. Right on. So, uh, what did you uh, think of this swap? Oh, it was great, man. I've got to come back another time. If only it was an hour away. Yeah, dude, these swap meets are a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. A lot of a lot of good people, a lot of great deals. Yeah, for sure. I got, got food stuff. this time. Yeah, definitely come back. Oh yeah, man. Well, hell yeah, dude. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you as well. All right, now I picked up some gems here, that's for sure. Now, Dubious gave me the hookups on like four games. So from him, I picked up Killer Instinct, which I have not played in over 20 years, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing on it. But man, the music is awesome in this game, and the graphics are pretty sweet too, so I definitely need to put some more time into this and relearn how to play it. I also got Tubin on the NES from him, which I think is a lot of fun. I've always liked this game ever since one of my buddies rented it way back in the day. And then I also got Bubble Bobble on the NES. Now, I've never really been a big Bubble Bobble fan, and I, I think one of the main reasons is because the music is the same throughout the entire game. But actually, after playing it a little more and then playing it with my four and a half year old nephew, uh, two player co op. It's fun. It's fun. It's not bad, but I got a really good price on it from Dubious, so that's why I picked it up. And then I also got from Dubious Tecmo Super Bowl on the SNES. Now, I thought that this was the one that I used to play on the SNES way back in the day, but it's not. It's more of a more or less a port of the NES Tecmo Super Bowl. It just might have updated rosters. So I also got three games from the host, Broderick. I got Archon on the NES, which is a chess-like game, but when the opposing pieces meet, you have to battle it out, and whoever wins steals that piece, so. It's interesting. It doesn't play exactly like chess. It has its own rules, so I gotta relearn the game, but I really liked it way back in the day. And a game that I have been seeking out for a while, but I was just waiting for the right price, is Turok. I used to have this game back in the day when it was brand new, and I ended up trading it for something else, and I haven't played it in over 20 years, and I was, I don't know, I was getting nostalgic for it, and I wanted to play it again, and I, I have been playing it, as you can see from the footage here, and probably the best pickup from the swap is one that I actually traded for. Uh, we made a trade and I got Batman Return of the Joker for the NES. And then I also got a couple of strategy guides for a buck. I got the Turok strategy guide and I got the Devil May Cry strategy guide. So I mean, two for a dollar, how could I pass that up? So not including the trades, let's take uh, Return of the Joker out of the equation. I got all this stuff for about $22 and that's pretty awesome. I always get sweet deals at these Denver Retro Gamer swaps, so I am definitely going to attend some more because I pick up a lot of good stuff when I go to these for really cheap. So yeah, I gotta say that I had even more fun at this swap than the last one. It was so much fun just hanging out with a great group of guys, uh, just shooting the shit over video games, eating some great food, and it's summertime. I love the summer. I love being outside. I love doing stuff outdoors. Thank God Dubious got that canopy to cover his table, otherwise I probably wouldn't have had nearly as much fun. But it was a total blast, and I can't wait for the next one.